Okay, so this is going to be take 17. I don't know. I can't even count on one hand how many takes this has taken. But I'm going to try this again. First of all, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, lately, the channel has been growing really steadily. And I've been getting a lot of support, likes, comments, and I love it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, it's really kicking me in the ass to get out there and work on the car some more. So I'm going to give you guys an update. Um in the next couple weeks of what's going on where we're at with the car and everything like that right now I just want to say sorry for how short this episode is going to be but I promised a subscriber I'd get it uploaded Monday or Tuesday or Sunday or Monday and so I'm sitting at my desk right now editing it and I realize it's going to be short because I only have a few videos left on my SD card not enough for like a long video <clears throat> so I'm going to edit that episode right now and then the next episode, I will get out there and show you guys where we're at with the car, what we're planning on doing, and then I will give you an update of some ideas I've had to make the videos come more frequently and, and stuff like that and see if you guys are interested. But basically, right now, sorry for the, how short this video is, I'll try to get out there and record some new videos, so if there's like a week delay on the next episode, I'm sorry, but it definitely won't be as long of a wait from the first episode to the second, I promise you that much. And so, uh... I'm going to get started on this edit this I'm going to get started on editing this episode right now get it uploaded for you guys and uh, if you guys can just keep showing the love I'd really appreciate it hit like if you like the video and if you're not already please hit subscribe and so you can watch this drift car get built and then hopefully you watch me in Formula Drift just shredding tires <laughs> one day hopefully so uh, thank you guys so much for everything once again and hopefully you enjoy this video I was going to fill these cracks with epoxy glue, sand it down, and repaint it black or rhino line it or something like that. But it's so dry rotted and I realized that there's a hard plastic shell underneath it. So I just took a screwdriver to it and started chipping away and it comes off really easy. So we're going to go through and we're just going to remove all that coating, all that like thick insulation and like plastic rubber and whatnot and just have a solid plastic dash and sand it down and paint it. So it's been a minute since we made a video because we've been just busy working on the car not actually taking our time to videotape it. But if you see here, this gray part, we got all this sound dampening stuff, all the insulation, whatever, out of the car on this one side we still have all the back seats the trunk and the passenger side to do but we ran out of dry ice so we're gonna get some more and do that another day uh, we took apart I don't know if we showed us taking apart the dash or not we have the dash taken out and uh, we found out what we're gonna do about the crack dash situation and we we took care of that but right now what we're gonna do is the firewall still has some thick padding on it but i can't get to it because dash is in the way so we're going to end up taking out all of this stuff including the bar and everything just to get back there and take out that rest of that sound dampening stuff because i'm not going to do a motor swap or a turbo upgrade or anything yet uh, until i get pretty decent behind the wheel and get some good seat time in so right now the the name of the game is just weight reduction and so we're going to see what of this we can cut out without it messing up the car structurally and without it making it too floppy because we still want a responsive car we want one where when i tell it to fling it will fling so we're going to get a strut bar back there anyways but i want to know how much of this i can actually remove and then with these door panels uh Daijiro yoshihara has his completely cut out in his s13 so i'm going to see what i can do about doing that as well just cutting out this whole door and just having it hollow and then uh that will be basically that for the weight reduction right now. And then if you want to see what we did to the front. So the garage is a mess. So we're going to have trouble with that. Too. But we removed front fenders, front bumper, just so it's easier to get to the motor and see what's going on with that. Only two bad things right now is it has no clutch in it. So it's not a bad clutch. It has no clutch at all. Uh, the gas tank's out, and there is a pretty decent oil leak from the oil pan itself. So we're going to have to get in there and see what those are. But overall, it's moving right along. We've had this car for 
a week now. And that is where we're at after this week. And the budget's been really, really cheap on that. All I've had to do is buy buy a new socket wrench because I've busted two of mine. So buy a socket wrench and spend like 15 bucks on dry ice. That's all I've done. So budget drift car, basically. But uh, next week or the week after, that's when this car will start getting parts on it. Right now we're just tearing it apart getting it stripped, getting all the weight taken out of it, and then with my next paycheck, we're going to be dropping some parts in it to get it close to running, if not running, and um, and then yeah, that's going to be that. So more videos to come. Right now we're going to take apart the dash, get the rest of that firewall protection shit out of it, and then we're going to wheel this outside and spray it down and then wheel it back, and then I'm going to go and edit our previous episodes because none of them are edited yet, basically. That's that.